Hi Debbie Teal here with Teal Soaps again. Today I'm making goat's milk and honey soap. I have here 100% goat's milk liquid and that's actually in the process of melting down. It's in a frozen state and I'm just slowly adding a little bit of lye over the top of it and stirring it in every so often. So it's slowly adding that as you can see. Now if it gets too hot and it starts to go yellow then I will get ice bath to put underneath it and keep it cool as it melts and dissolves. In here I have a tiny little bit of water that I've dissolved my honey into. Here's my solid oils. So I've got shea butter, cocoa butter and coconut oil. And you can see a few flecks in there I've added some grated beeswax as well. And then my liquid oils, I have olive oil and safflower oil. So I'm just going to come back in a minute once all this is melted, ready to go in. And I'll continue to slowly heat this and dissolve all the little pieces of solid still in there. Back in a moment. Okay, I'm back, but we're not quite ready. I still have a big chunk of um, goat's milk soap that hasn't yet melted. I've just put the last of my lye in there, so I just have to gently wait and um, gently stir it and dissolve that last, melt that last chunk and make sure all the lye is dissolved. As you can see, the beeswax is completely dissolved into it and melted into it and it's beeswax from my own hive so I'm, I'm positive that I know that it's a clean beeswax no chemicals in there it'll be really gentle for the skin make the, the bar of soap nice and hard as well back in a minute okay we're back this is now solid liquid um, what I've done though is I can't put it through my usual strainer because the little pieces of milk fat some of them have actually saponified and turned into little pieces of soap so I've left it for long enough that I'm satisfied that this is actually all dissolved that goes into my warm oils first so that any little pieces of beeswax or coconut butter cocoa butter um, will have will stay anything that might have solidified will stay now let me just warm that up okay oops bumped the camera This is going to need a little bit of stick blending. Bear with me while I do that. Okay, here we go. Okay, that's starting to all come together now. Still very liquid, which is good. Can't see any little pieces of milk fat. And the last ingredient is our honey water, which is going to heat things up considerably. What we've got here is we've got a lot of sugar. Sugars in soap make it heat up. So I'm just going to give it a little stir first without the blender on. You should start to see it change colour quite away. Now the sugars in it speed up the saponification process. The chemical process really gets going once you add sugars in there. So. Okay. Right, 
that sit for a minute before we do much. Now I have here my mould. So once this is ready to go in, we'll just pour it straight in. No swirls or anything fancy today because we're doing a plain soap. Okay, so this is about a minute later. golden colour that you can see. There's the honey and the milk in there starting to heat up and caramelise. And the honey and milk soap will have a beautiful sweet smell without any extra essential oils added in. And it's the combination of the honey, the milk and all the different oils. And each one will have its own special scent. And I just love them. See we're tapping it, it's bringing a few little bubbles to the surface. And then I will pop this in the freezer just as soon as it's sculpted on the top and just prevent it from overheating. I like it to gel fully, but I don't want it to overheat and tunnel so. Just keep playing with it until you're happy with the top. There we go. Hope you enjoyed watching.